Hi everybody, I'm Stefan for Aetat Plus and here is the preview of what we are going to create today. As you can see we have some abstract energy like fire thing that we are going to create in After Effects using Trap Code Form and Layer Maps. So let's delete that and start the tutorial. First of all create new comp with these settings and let's call it alpha map and time duration doesn't matter you can make it shorter for example 10 seconds and hit OK after that we are going to create a new solid layer new solid in white core it's important to be in white core and let's call it map and hit OK after that grab the pen tool and draw a shape maybe something like that the shape doesn't have to be perfect maybe something like that and hit F to reveal the feather options for the mask and set it to 85 maybe or 75 and that's ok maybe take shift click to take these points and take them right here and bring the rulers to line up these two points as you can see they are perfectly lining up with the ruler and center this oops center it and maybe tweak it a bit but that's ok and after that let's create a new adjustment layer and let's rename it bore and come to effect bore and sharpen and apply fast bore effect hit the repeat edge pixels checkbox and set the boreiness to 100 take the rectangle mask tool and mask the top part of the image and set the feather to 80% this way as you can see the top part is softer than the bottom part and that's exactly what we want because we want the flames to fade out as they go out of the screen on the top so that's our alpha map now let's create our uh, actually let's create a new composition and let's call it main and hit OK drop in the alpha map composition and turn it off after that create a new solid layer and let's call it form and hit OK come to effect trap code is off the screen but if you have trap code form search for trap code and apply form let's close this preview and settings and leave it like that and now let's create our fractal strength composition so let's create a new comp and fractal oops fractal fractal strength map and hit OK let's create another solid white and the name doesn't matter now let's duplicate this layer come to the solid settings and change its color to black hit new and now let's take our alpha map for a reference and select the black solid select the pen tool and create like a circular shape 
right here for example something like that and let's create the rest of the mask maybe something like that it doesn't matter so much and let's see actually the form the actual form of your energy ball depends of the form of the alpha map just to let you know and after we are done with this turn off the alpha map and hit F to reveal the feather for the first black solid and change the feather to 160 maybe and after that let's control D or command D to duplicate the solid hit M to reveal the mask select it and delete and let's turn off this solid and choose the ellipse mask tool right here and let's create a circle holding out control and shift it creates the circle from the center so let's create circle and maybe scale it down a bit and let's see let's bring the rulers we want the circle to be right around here maybe and you can create a bigger circle because we are going to feather it 150 pixels and I think that's okay maybe scale it down just a bit it's all about tweaking in this case and it's a bit more complicated because form renders too slow and it will take forever to get the settings you want but I think it's worth so let's come to the main composition and drop our fractal strength map and turn it off again and now let's move on to the fun part which is setting up our trap code form let's open the base form tab and leave the base form to a box grid and set the particles in this space to 2 because we want two planes actually let's create temporary a camera 35 millimeters is ok and grab the orbit tool and as you can see these two planes let's turn off the camera I'm going to use it only for preview purpose but no for but not for the final render and come to the size Z and set it to 80 which will shorten the distance between these two planes as you can see here we can control the distance let's turn off the camera and come to the size X and type 1400 and size Y 1000 and basically we want the trap code form to be just a bit bigger than our composition which is 720p so that's okay for me but you can tweak the settings and for the final render you want to crank up the particles really high in my case it's 2800 by 2000 and as you can see it takes forever to render these particles in a full res and I'm going to drop down this to maybe five times less than the final render or maybe more like so because we want to work faster let's drop down the resolution to half and let's set the trap code form center to maybe like let's see 450 because we want the center to be 
at the bottom part of the composition so 460 is ok and I think we are done here with these settings let's move on to the particle settings let's open the particle and increase the sphere feather to 100 size 1 is ok we don't want size random opacity let's drop it down to 10 percent because when we increase the number of particles here the core will become a completely solid core and this is not what we want so let's let's leave the opacity to 100 percent for now but for the final render we are going to tweak it and let's change the transfer mode to screen and let's change the core to something like that we, we, we will core correct it at the end so it doesn't matter what core just some kind of core so you so we can see it better and I think this is okay let's open the layer maps menu and come to core and alpha select our alpha map and let's set the functionality to alpha to alpha and map over x and y and as you can see here we have our shape let's undo the particle count and let's come to the fractal strength and open it and choose the fractal strength map map over x and y and let's move on to the fractal field where we will set the cool displacement of the trap code form to create these abstract looking flames kind of things so XYZ linked is ok for this case and set the displays to 160 and as you can see the particles are already displaced and now we are going to tweak the fall settings here let's set the X fall to negative 200 because let's see because we want our particles or actually ma negative 200 on the y-axis that's right because we want our particles to move upwards like flames and let's set the full evolution to 20 because we want this evolution to happen slow and let's come to the fractal settings here and let's see if we can tweak something and let's try to increase the F scale to 12 to to get a bit more detail inside because if we bring this number down to 3 you will see the displacement pattern will be so large that you hardly can notice a displacement so let's leave it to 12 but feel free to uh, tweak these settings and give it a try create something different just by playing with these settings and let's see let's set the complexity is 3 already so it's ok and now let's move on to a very important section here come to spherical field and open it and as you can see we have two spheres two spherical fields here that we can use but in my case I'm going to use only the first spherical field and you can visualize this field by hitting this checkbox and now let's set it up let's set the strength to 40 and let's 
open the trap code form settings come to form and come to fractal field and open the base form and what we are going to do now actually open the spherical field and sphere 1 hold click on the position of sphere 1 and link it to the center of trap code form because we want this sphere displacement to happen at the center of trap code form and that's the reason why we created our form to be bigger than our composition because we moved the whole planes with particles to the bottom because we want this displacement to happen at the bottom and to be linked so if you move the whole thing to the right side the displacement will be linked or to the left side excuse me and let's see what we can change here we can change the z position and let's change it to 10 to bring it forward and as you can see if we increase this number it's too much but let's set it to 50 or 100 it moves back backwards I think and in my case I'm going to leave it at 10 to be here turn on the camera and let's set the radius to 350 because we want a large radius to create this kind of a energy bolting and let's set the feather to 100 percent because we want this to happen very soft and let's turn off the visualize field checkbox and I think we are almost done with the settings of trap code form but we have a lot of work to get this done so let's move on and let's see how it looks now so increase this and this and let's drop the opacity to 10 percent and it will take forever to render but the result will be great I think yep here is the result as you can see very cool looking thing and actually here comes the hard part when as you can see we have like a cut off here but you can't be sure because everything moves up and let's see on this frame here how it will look and it have to render everything again and take another one minute or 30 seconds to render just a single frame and if you don't like how it looks you have to come to the alpha map or fractal strength map and readjust the mask and shapes to get it right and come here again and wait for it to render and it's really hard because it's not like in a real time you can't see it in real time and I think we should decrease this number and if we decrease it like so and come to the main comp let's see what we will get and the displacement should be very low in the I, I mean low at the edges and we will have displacement only in the middle as you can see the displacement fades away and it's stronger only here so let's set this to 25 percent maybe and let's move this circle let's decrease its size and move it like so here and come to the alpha map and maybe decrease its size to negative 10 pixels and come to the main composition and wait another minute to see how it will look and yes this already looks better 
and I think that we have to come to the trap code form and maybe offset this position here so let's come here delete this expression and just for the sake of the tutorial lower these numbers and increase the opacity to see what's going on and move it just a bit maybe like so and let's link it again to the center of trap code form and yes this doesn't work this way because when we link it it will change but that's okay let's come here increase the opacity actually decrease the opacity to 50% and come here and multiply this like so and maybe decrease the resolution just to see how it looks and actually that's pretty good if you ask me we have kind of abstract looking thing like energy ball and let's get it look right let's create a white solid layer and hit OK and create a circular mask in the center of our energy ball which takes really forever to render I'm going to load this particle count in the particles in Z because I can't wait forever and I don't want to waste your time by waiting my computer to render this and set the feather of this to 200 and this will be something like a hotspot in the center of our energy ball let's set the transfer mode to add and let's collapse this layer after that let's create a new solid doesn't matter what core and let's call it OF for optical flares at the time when I created this thing I used no white factory because optical flares was released later on but now you can put a 3D white in the center of trap code form and track the flare to this white but I'm not going to do it right now I'm going to change the flare type let's see here maybe I'm not going to create my own design now but let's see something that will look cool I think this will look cool but not cool enough for this amazing energy ball maybe this and this is kind of okay I don't like this iris thing here but let's see okay let's don't waste more time and just choose something and I think that this will work fine for this case let's set it in the center here and blending mode set this to screen or you can change it to add if you want but it gets too bright then in screen so let's leave it at screen now and let's set the flicker 
if you use no white factory you may want to come to the brightness old click and type an expression for example let's see we go 2 comma 30 which means change this number here 2 times second with 30 units in the positive and negative part so you know what I'm talking about it's the simplest expression in After Effects but delete this and come to the flicker of optical flares and set the speed to 2 and amount to 30 and basically it's the same thing and you can easily change the numbers here and get the needed result and after we are done with our lens flare let's create an adjustment layer and by the way the shortcut for adjustment layer in After Effects CS4 and CS5 and this shortcut is new to CS in version CS4 in CS3 it doesn't work it's Control Alt and Y to create an adjustment layer which is a pretty handy shortcut and I use it all the time and now let's color correct this come to effect color correction and tint it and now let's come to color correction and let's say color balance and I personally prefer a blue core kind of a bluish light blue core so let's say the red balance shadow to minus 100 let's set the green balance to negative 10 and let's set the shadow blue balance to 60 percent at mid-tone green balance to 25 to make it a uh, make it not so much saturated and mid-tone blue balance set it to 90 percent or 50 because 90 will kill us and set the highlight green balance to 25 to reduce this mid-tone blue and set the highlight blue balance to maybe kind of 50 or 60 or maybe 24 25 and I think this is okay and the problems come for from our lens flare which is too bright maybe try to scale it down a bit to 85 percent and I think this is okay for me maybe you can delete this or hide it this glow thing decrease it and then play with the core settings I'm leaving it to you and now let's come to the trap code form and let's decrease our opacity to 10 percent and let's increase the particles to their original number and let's set this to full res to see it how it will look and increase the particles in Z to 2 and I think my computer will blow up trying to render this thing but we will wait for a second or for five minutes to render this frame and see how it will look and while waiting to render this thing I will talk whoa that was fast and as you can see it's a pretty intense effect here you may want to decrease the opacity to 6% because we get this overwrapping shapes from the trap called form which are set to screen mode and they are almost white and we don't want kind of a uh, completely white things here except for the lens flare but this is the lens flare in nature as you know the center spot is white always okay it's my computer is having a hard time trying to render this but the result will look cool and of course it's 
takes a bit of a tweaking I can't recreate completely my original example as you can see I don't want this displacement around here I want displacement only on the top and this can be fixed by going to the fractal strength map and bring up this black closely here and maybe decrease the alpha map and move this and these points to the center but it will take me another 40 minutes to tweak all the settings and see how the final result will look and for the sake of this tutorial I'm not going to lose your time with tweaking settings and I will leave this fun part to you and basically that's it that's about how, how to create this energy boating and you can use this for a number of things you can track it to your hand and simulate kind of an energy ball in your hand kind of a heroes type of effects and stuff and let's come here to the adjustment layer on top come to blur and sharpen and apply a vector blur and set it to 10% and you can set it to 25% or negative 5 or so and you can create amazing things just with a slight blur and maybe change the type of the blur to something different and create unique effects also you can add some kind of uh, particles and lightnings going across the sphere but that's up to you it's your choice and hopefully this tutorial was useful for you and I'm waiting to see what you've created based on this tutorial and I think it will be pretty cool so once again I'm Stefan for 8 Plus and we'll see you next time bye